know anybody that I can I explain because we didn't have record companies in Ghana that you have special department that will do your branding and all that. I didn't know. So it's like a small fly trying to fly and that was my difficulty. Now I'll tell you something. I'm encouraged to do or to come back because of what Wachame Kwame told me and this is the evidence of what he, he, he told me. I've heard most of your names doing wonderful things, big names, but I didn't know any of you. So even if I'm walking around and I see you, I don't know you. So it's like, oh, this boy, proud of how. But I don't know you. So I, 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 I was very happy when Ani said I will organize for you to meet all of them. Before I explain Papa to you, let me tell you what I'm pleading with you. Listen, Ghana, we have the most talented musicians. We do. This album that I recorded, everything that is played is played by Ghanaian, young Ghanaians. The basis is 22 years. The sound engineer who also did all the horns arrangements, he's just early 30s. Everything was recorded live. Because that is what the Western world wants to hear. They don't want to hear adulterated music. They want to hear the original, authentic stuff. Even if you want to play um, hip hop or you want to play whatever genre you want to play, they, they want an organic something from Africa. Because that is the edge we have over there. So I decided to go back to studio, record some of our indigenous, indigenous rhythms. I wrote within those rhythms, like Adwa, that I, I put a little jazz here and there. Akom, also the, the big band high life thing. This album is 15 tracks, different varieties of stuff. And all I'm pleading is since Osibisa, even Osibisa wasn't representing Ghana, Osibisa was a British band. But so far as I know, until today, when you mention Yusundu, the only country that comes to your mind is Senegal. When you mention Alpha Blondie, oh, Cote d'Ivoire, Anjali Kijo, Benin. Then you keep on mentioning and mentioning and mentioning. And if you mention, there's no artist that you mention in Ghana. It's now that Sakodie and some of these young guys are getting there. And it's because of you. And if you meet Sakodie one-on-one -on -one and you ask him, he may not say it in public. He will tell you that yes, now he has the publicity, but now he needs to give the real content not the one he's giving me. you know so i'm just asking you that let us don't look at me i am i'm a marvel <laughs> let us try to see if we can put rex omar there because rex omar has the right material whereas maybe you may not know me but i think i've got the right attitude i'm ready to listen to you guys i'm not i'm not perfect if I had I had you earlier on, perhaps I wouldn't have people misconstrued me, misquoted me, took some of the things I said out of context and blah blah blah. And I didn't know anything about marketing, PR, and I didn't know. So let us try to put something Ghanaian out there and tell our story. This is nothing personal. This journey that I'm, I'm embarked on, it is an expensive journey, but I'm ready to sacrifice for this journey. So that at the end of the day, when the world is talking, we can also chest out and say that we also have something to show. You know, that is all. Papa, now let me come to the question. You know, I believe that as artists, we all live in Ghana, we love our country, and we know what is going on in our country. 
Papa is just figurative. I use father because even the Bible says.